the spotted seahorse is found throughout the Lembe Strait. It also adapts its skin colour to blend into its environment, and it has small hairs which gather algae and other matter to increase the camouflage. Seahorses are in the same phylogenetic order as trumpet fish and share a similar characteristic long snout. Rather than fishes, they feed on small crustaceans and their eyes can move independently to maximise their field of vision to pick out prey. The seahorse is a poor swimmer. It has a prehensile tail which allows it to grasp onto a holdfast for stability. The male seahorse incubates eggs, then foetuses, in a brood pouch on its belly until they are ready to hatch. This species is listed by the IUCN as vulnerable, mainly due to the demand for its use in traditional medicines. Because of this, trade is now monitored. Amongst the branches of a sea fan, we find one of the most perfectly camouflaged creatures in the entire animal kingdom. Pygmy seahorses are much smaller than their larger cousins and have much shorter snouts. The adults grow to a maximum of just a couple of centimetres long. They live with two species of Gorgonian sea fan, clinging to their branches with their prehensile tail. The body colour matches the stem of the sea fan while the tubercles that cover its body match the colour and shape of the sea fan's polyps. In fact, pygmy seahorses are so small and well camouflaged that they were only discovered in 1969 in a sea fan that had been collected by staff of an aquarium. Adults are usually found in pairs, but numerous pairs can sometimes be found on the same sea fan. Keen-eyed divers have discovered more species of pygmy seahorse in recent years and since the year 2000 at least six more species have been officially named. They are notoriously difficult to find and like all seahorses they shy away from bright lights so they are even more difficult to photograph and film. Pipefishes are closely related to seahorses they share the same long snout and toothless mouth as most species of seahorse, but have a straight body with ridges running along it. As poor swimmers, camouflage is important for their defence and the colour varies to match aspects of the environment. Younger specimens of the ornate pipefish grow wing-like skin flaps that increase the disguise, along with cirri on the snout which give it the alternative name of whiskered pipefish. Standing in the current, with its tail anchored to the seabed, the short-tailed pipefish resembles a gorgonian sea whip. This juvenile translucent gorgonian shrimp stands on the pipefish's back, possibly taken in by the camouflage. The short-tailed pipefish's neck is more bent than other pipefishes, but it has the same long snout and fused jaws. Individuals adapt their colour and texture, resulting in great variation as shown by this specimen at Makawide. The banded pipefish is a type of flagtail pipefish. The large tail fin makes it a faster and more agile swimmer than most other pipefishes and is used in courtship and territorial displays. Like seahorses, it is the male that incubates the young. Females compete to deposit their eggs in compartments under its abdomen. Scientists have suggested that the process of sexual selection continues after copulation the males tend to fertilise and nurture the eggs of attractive females, while the eggs of less attractive females may be neglected or even digested by the male as he prepares for future pregnancies. Ghost pipefish are usually found in pairs, hanging head down. They are masters of camouflage, closely resembling their surroundings. These robust ghost pipefish resemble the leaves of seaweed, making them almost invisible to predators. 
The taxonomy of ghost pipefishes has been a subject of much debate, and some varieties that were previously considered to be separate species on the basis of body shape and coloration are now thought to be variants of the robust ghost pipefish. The ornate or harlequin ghost pipefish is one of the most spectacular cryptic creatures underwater. Numerous skin filaments cover its body as a camouflage. The colour varies, but certain patterns are particularly common. Black or dark brown specimens are often found blending in with crinoid feather stars, one of their favourite habitats. At Hairball, next to an oil drum that has been used as a mooring, we find another pair taking shelter. The smaller male has lost its tail fin. Another pair has taken on the pale coloration of a submerged bamboo stalk. Ghost pipefishes are more conventional than seahorses and regular pipefishes in that it is the female that incubates the eggs. It's been suggested that all ghost pipefishes start as males, then some of them change into females and grow bigger. The female develops a large brood pouch between her pelvic fins where she stores her eggs. She uses a pumping action of the fins to aerate the hundreds of fertilised eggs, a process known as churning, until they are ready for birth. The juvenile ornate ghost pipefish is more translucent before it acquires the pigmentation of the adult. On a night dive near Tanjong Kusu Kusu, a school of rigid shrimp fish emerges from the blackness attracted by my lights. Shrimp fish are always found in tightly coordinated schools, usually swimming head downwards, which may assist their camouflage amongst corals and sea whips during the day. Their name comes from the similarity to long shrimps, but they are also known as grooved razor fish because of the sharp-edged belly and the resemblance to a cutthroat razor. This is a pair of short dragonfish, a type of sea moth. Sea moths are related to seahorses and pipefishes. Thank you.